Carl Cameron is live in Washington with more on that. Carl. Hi, John. While well, you're talking about uh, his opposition to the auto industry bailout during the Obama administration a couple of years ago, and for that, Mr. Romney is taking a bit of a hit. He won the Michigan primary in 2008 in the Republican race, uh, so he very much wants to continue that winning record in the 2012 cycle, this being his first trip back there. It wasn't just Democrats and Republicans uh, going after his record in Massachusetts, but also for his criticism of President Obama, and he was met by uh, United Auto Workers protesters, some self-described Democrats who were beating him up for his opposition to uh, the Obama administration bailout. Back in 2008, Mr. Romney wrote an op-ed in the New York Times saying, let Detroit go bankrupt, and argued that what should really happen is a government-controlled, a strictly regulated bankruptcy in order to bring the auto industry back. And he said that if a check was written by the U.S. government, they'd all shut down. Obviously, that has not happened, and some of the automakers are now paying back their debts. Uh, even Republicans now are going after him. Mr. Romney's in Livonia, Michigan today, and the congressman from that area is Thaddeus McCotter, who's himself looking at running for president and very angry at Romney for not supporting the bailout for the folks in Detroit. Listen to this. Now it becomes rather ironic that someone who would tell you that you should have bankruptcy to now ask your help to attain the presidency. Very, very tough stuff. The Democratic National Committee has put out an attack video using some of Romney's past quotes and suggesting that he's all over the map again. That has long been a political criticism of Mr. Romney and a big liability. He's changed his position on a number of issues, and his argument now is that essentially what the Obama administration did with Detroit is what he was advocating. But the truth is he was against the, bank, the, the bailouts in the first place, and for that, a lot of Michiganders have a little bit of lingering resentment. John.